going to call in, but I, I lost the number. As I'm sure you're aware, we have a strict policy on unauthorised absence. And as you are already on a stage three disciplinary, I'm sad to say, we're going to have to let you go. Let me go? We'll be sending yourself a letter confirming our course of action, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. So, okay. I'm sorry about this, Kenneth. It's not easy being a manager, you know. Oh, yes. There is also a cheery little plant on your desk, which I'm sure you're anxious to retrieve. Make sure you pop on down, or I'm afraid facilities will have it destroyed. Kenneth? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, perfect. Kenneth, can you... Stay away from me. What are you? Do you really want to know? No. Well, I'm going to tell you. Your head was just too small to keep it in. All those dark thoughts, nights of misery, feelings of hatred and despair, all those wretched sensations that gnaw away at your soul and make you sick in your gut. They are my blood and sinews. I'm a product of your anguish, a melancholic tulpa, a slave to the darkest, deepest wishes of your revolting subconscious. <laughs> Bollocks. I'm the personification of years of unceasing self-hatred. <laughs> <sighs> place has a certain miserable charm, not too dissimilar to my previous abode, although the inside of your head wasn't festooned with a childish story. Hey, Kim did though. I know. If you know, I know. And we both know your girlfriend's a talentless bitch! Shut up! Maybe your appreciation of the end product is affected when the artist plays with your wing-wang. You really are the original renaissance couple. Anyway, it's 
not a very inspirational environment in which to write your book. How is your opus coming along? Not quite finished yet. Still staring blank faced at it night after night. Well, then. I've got an ending for you. Why don't you grow up and put it in the fucking bin, Shakespeare? <laughs> Why are you here? To make my life even worse. It's my fault, eh? My raison d'etre. <laughs> Kenneth, are you in there? I can hear you, Skyver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was uh, just asleep. God, I've had such a crap morning. Jeff rang me. Oh, for God's sake! Blah, 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 blah! Who were you talking to just now? Yeah, uh, Hello? Well, it, uh, work. It was just work on the phone. Oh, OK. How do you go to the doctors? Tell her everything is fine. Fine. Everything's fine. I, I was just doing some uh, press-ups. In your suit? Another masterpiece? I thought it might cheer you up. Jesus Christ. Thanks. It, I, I like it. I didn't actually think you'd be in here taking the afternoon off. Yeah, well, I, I'm still not feeling great, you know. Did the doctor say what's up with you? Uh, nothing, just headaches. Ha! Good. I knew it. Maybe you need glasses or something. Yeah. Well, you weirdo. Can't stay here all day. You can walk me to work if you want. We would really rather not do that, thank you very much. Mrs. Come in here and get on my fucking nerves all the time! All right, I will. Get up! I told you you'd be fine, worry guts. some prospectuses. You think my pictures are good enough, right? Yeah, of course I do. But you know, I'm not sure now's the right time. Yeah, yeah. I'm just sick of coasting along in the pointless job. I mean, you know what I mean? All right, sis. Mum says I've got to give you a ride to work. She was puking up on that this morning. She's not puking my fucking car. Right, Ken, how you get it, bastard? You look like shite. Guys. It's all right, I'm going to walk with Kenneth. Oh, come on, don't be like that. There's plenty of room in here. Just try and keep your hands off me, yeah? Not bad. Yeah. Right then, we're off down Ronnie Max to spend some tokens. So uh, if Mum asks, I gave you left eye. Laters. Teenager cock. I'm going to fucking bop you if you don't stop getting crumbs all over my beast. Let's see. It means well. Hey, hey, what was wrong with you this morning? Oh, nothing. Women's problems. I know what you mean. You have women's problems. Uh, no, no, I mean problems. My poor, beautiful man. Come on. Another fun packed evening at work? It's a nice day. We could have gone down to the river and had a picnic. Well, at least you got Jeff to keep you company. Jeff's lovely, but I'd rather spend time with you. Woo! Kissy, kissy! Have you two lovebirds got a spare little bit of change? So one cup piece, I can get a bit of a nightcap. Ah, cheers, big ears. Jeff's seen him nicking food out of the bins on a night. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a bit late. 
pop by later about eight and I'll feed you cakes. Kenneth? Hello? Cakes? It's important. We need to talk. Talk? About what? I've really got to go in later, yeah? I'll see you tonight, yeah? You're dumped! <laughs> well, it was only a matter of time. <laughs> yes, yes, no relationship that involves you could ever last. You're a gloomy cuss moping about. You've always been better at forming relationships with objects than with people. You loved your bicycle more than your parents when you were a child. It's not normal, is it? What? Keep up, dickhead! Don't start, all right? Just because we're alone doesn't mean you have to start talking to me again. But I enjoy chatting with you. Anyway, I would have thought you'd be glad of the company. Now you're almost all alone in the world. Did you buy some change, mate? I just gave you some change. Oh, yeah, you did. Did you? Hang on, can you see that? You will. Shut up, Kenneth. That crazy fucking goblin there. I'm warning you! There. Oh, yeah. Hey, goblin, goblin. Ah. Yeah, yeah, your roots is leaking there, Sarge. A little wriggle around and you're more obedient. Ooh. How about a couple of quid for the beer, Jackie? Get silly out here of a night, you know. By the way, I'm Peter Wood. Get rid of him, he stinks! I'm Kenneth. Rock and roll, man, rock and roll. Who's that bird? Your missus? Yeah, but I'm gonna have to get off. Oh, no worries. Where are we off to then? Hell's teeth! I'm gonna go nick the bike. Oh, I'll get you, Kenneth. Just your wait. Tell me anyway. Bloody crap. And if you think about it, our flag's red, white, and blue. America's flag is red, white, and blue. And the Spanish and the German flag. Shh. There it is. Oh, nice place. Is that your mum and dad? Yeah. You can't go back, Kenneth. Oh, she's got a fit ass for an old lass. Where's he gone? To deodorize, I hope. Got to be quiet. Hey, look, they never even fucking locked it. You think your old man still wants these? that the only true happiness of your youth was derived from this ridiculous contraption. Is that it? Yeah. I always loved this bike. Wouldn't you just give it a like? Probably, but <laughs> still on the ball leg. Nice one.
left. What's this, Gaff? My work. Well, I used to work here. Fucking hell, what a shit all. So we're a proper spot like. Fucking hell, so you used to drink coffee instead of desks with pens and that? Yeah. Rock and roll, let's store in a place. Well, just come for my plan. Look at this awful place. How many years of your life have you wasted here? So many pointless tasks and glances at the clock. It's all so painfully familiar. Every day rolling into one long, torturous nightmare of social awkwardness and self-hatred. <laughs> Here we are. Your little decoration. It's a shame it had to end this way, Kenneth. I always thought you were team leader material. Very funny. I just hope that you get the help that you need in order to overcome your current problems. I'll see to that. <laughs> we all have self-destructive tendencies. Just remember, overindulgence is a crime against yourself. Right. Well, Kenneth, mate. Eh, uh, if that's your bed, Stingy, does that mean we can have a blast in it? That's no, her dad's. He won't mind. Does it float? He's dead. You what? He died recently. What in there? No. Don't worry, Ken. I think I'm dying. What off? It's not catching, is it? I've got some big fucking tumour in my brain or something. They don't really know what it is. It'll be all right, mate. You know, they can do anything these days. Trust me, mate. There's still all to play for. Oh, I could do with a crap. You got anything that can wipe my ass on? Nice one. Such a concise piece of artistic criticism. You look like someone's pissed on your chips. Go on, give us a smile. You're lucky. You've got a bed to keep you warm at night. I haven't knocked my hip out for six years. Oh, it's coming out. Oh. Unbelievable! You couldn't write this! Well, you definitely couldn't. You shit at writing. Almost eight o'clock. Time to go and get this ridiculous pantomime over with. 
I can't believe my brain's capable of making up something as vile and disgusting and horrible. I'm just looking for the iceberg, sonny boy! Christ. What's that, mate? Uh, oh, yeah, nothing. No, I was just saying, uh, it's probably about time for me to go meet Kim at the restaurant, so, uh... Hold up. I'll come meet you for a bit of support. I've just battered me fucking ring box. What's the point of going in there? We already know the outcome. I'm freaking out. Relax, man. Just go in there, give it a big sloppy kiss, and be cool. You know, like a cucumber is. Yes! Go in and act like a cold vegetable. Here, have a swig. At least wipe the rim. Just get in there. Oh, you're right, Kenneth. How are you? I've been better, thanks, Jeff. Well, I hope you can do something to cheer Kim up. She's been scaring the customers away. Hey, uh, how'd you get on at the, um, the hospital? Look, it's none of my business, but, um, well, my dad, he, uh, he had this growth on his lung and, uh, I, mean, I mean, they caught it pretty early and, uh, I mean, he's, well, he's, he's back playing squash now. Well, it, it's just, you look a bit, you seem a bit. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. I'll see you later, yeah? See you, yeah. Am I late? It's okay, I'm just glad she came. What's Trevor doing here? Kenneth, are you all right? Not really. You look terrible. Oh, I'm really sorry. Sandra rang in again six, so I'm having to stay until ten. Oh, I made you something. Oh. Yeah. I remember these. Made it today on my break. Pick a colour. Uh, green. One, two, five, or six? Uh, five. One, two, three, four. Why is the tramp giving you two thumbs up? Don't know. Oh. Three, four, seven, or eight? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, four. Uh, did you want anything to eat? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not hungry. Me either. I could make your favourite. Couscous volcano with an Edam cheese and passata lava. No thanks, no. Um, what's my fortune? When an old life ends, a new one will begin. I think I know what that means. Me too. We need to talk. I know what you're going to say. Do you? Yeah. It's pretty obvious. Not a complete spacker. This is excruciating! No, I just came here to say that... Well, it doesn't really matter anyway, because... I'm dying. Dying? What? Maybe. Will really give us an end? I'll be back in a second. This is going really well. Service here is appalling. The fuck did I say that for? Well, I've always suspected that we were borderline autistic. Maybe Asperger's syndrome. What the hell were you talking about before? I went past your father's boat today. What? It's a bit overgrown. Yeah, no, I saw it. It's a mess. Why did you say you were dying? Did the hospital say something? Go away. Are 
you dumping me? Is that why you asked me here? What? Dump you? Stop acting so naive. You enjoying dragging this out or something? Just put me out of my misery and do us both a favour. Dump you, when did I ever say that? Dumping a dying man! What a heartless bitch! Shut up! Who are you talking to? Oops, the cat's out of the bag! Just shut up. Kenneth? I'm, I'm not talking to anybody. Stop it, you're scaring me. Kenneth, you know us. Oh, shit. No wonder she wants rid of me. Why'd she even ever hang around me in the first place? Pity? <laughs> it's certainly not the sex. What? Well, you've seen that blank-eyed expression on her face when you're rushing away on top of her. You're not quite the swordsman. You are inadequate. Not really someone people lust after, more somebody they settle for entirely. I wouldn't be surprised if Kim isn't getting a little on the side to make up for your measly efforts. What do you know about this Jeff fellow? No way. At least he can hold down a job. I have plans. Writing the book. Yeah, but he's shit though, isn't he? I'm gonna lose her. So what? She doesn't care about you. This is the real world, Kenneth. No one really cares for anyone unless they have something to gain. It's all about agendas, my boy. Get away from me. Oh. I'm sicker than I thought. Get stopped! Sick. <coughs> Kenneth? Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm coming in. You pointless wanker! Fuck you! Okay, but. What are you doing in there? What? Where are you going? I just gotta get out of here. Can I stop it? Are you okay? Look at me. Hmm. Just get off me. Alright. What's wrong with you? For God's sake, you can't possibly think this is normal behaviour. It's not a normal day. What does that even mean? I, I don't know. But I'm, I'm just gonna go. Where? Does it matter? Yes, it does. What's going on? Just leave me alone, all right? I can't take this. Great. What now? Nothing. If you're going, go. Hello, Kenneth. Hello. I suppose you think you're very clever, hmm? Do you know how much your vindictive actions will cost the company to have professionally cleaned? Hmm? I never took you for a common street vandal, Ken. I knew you were bone idle, but I thought you were smart enough not to go around damaging things that didn't belong to you. What's he talking about? I hope you're really proud of yourself, mate. Because I know one thing for sure. I won't be giving you a reference for any future positions. In fact, I'll be warning them about you. 
I definitely made the right. Oh, fuck off. Now you just listen to me, you little shit. If I ever see you on company property again, we will have you prosecuted to the very fullest extent of the law. Do you understand? Hit him! Kenneth! Do it again! Call the police! I'm gonna have him charged! Jeff, wait! Stop me arresting him! Good! Love, have you seen my impression of an elephant? <laughs> Just, just, just leave. All leave. right, mate, calm down. Don't drop leave. a bollock. Just going over there for a minute, okay? Just leave. <laughs> you! You were the one who urinated on my shoes. You stay here. I'm going to have you charged as well. Come on, I dare, Ken. You know it. Where's me busy, aren't you? <laughs> Come on, man, let him go. Seriously, man, let him go. Let him go! I want to stab your fucking face in! I refuse to be threatened by a bloody vandal! He's going purple! Stop it, you'll kill him! You're, you're upsetting the customers. I'm going to call the police. Leggy! Wait! I... I hope you can explain this to the police. Get out of my face, you stuttering fuck! <laughs> we showed that shit, Osh. Hey, Campbell. I've got something that'll put a smile back on your face. What? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Rock and roll, man. Rock and roll. This is insane. Right up your street, then, eh? Me bag there, Ken. I'll slap your flippers round one of me cans. And have one yourself. Nice one, boss. I wonder what he uses that knife for, eh? He's probably going to whittle you into a lampshade. Fucking hell. That'll put airs on your ass. I'm a cunt, I'm a cunt, I'm a cunt, I'm a country farmer. But airs on me nub, on me nub, on me nubbleenies. Cheers, Gab. How do you think you'll die? I mean, you know, if you ever think about stuff like that. I don't know. Probably with a Chinese painter up my heart, so <laughs> like everyone else. So, what about you in the spade then? What's the score there? Kim. Yeah. She's great, you know. I just want to be happy. <laughs> I want to be happy with her. You know, do nice things. <sighs> Lie in bed, give her foot massages, run through the woods with her and just our underpants. <laughs> then she could sit up in a tree and I could 
play songs on the trumpet. Can you play the trumpet? No, but I'd try. That's nice, that, though. My missus was a cow. Does she know about... After tonight, I, I, I don't think she'll care. Oh, fuck it. Get that down your neck. No, no, I, I better not. Oh, shit yourself. Do you want some scran? I nick loads earlier. No, I'm not hungry. You've got to keep your strength up, Ken. It's the first thing they teach you in basic army training. Army? How long were you in the army for? Well, technically, I suppose I've never left. <laughs> Are you two soaks just going to sit here all night and prattle on? Oh, I don't feel very well. You do look a bit peaky. You want to lay off the sauce? I just want to take my brain out and smash it on a rock. Oh, tell me about it, man. Tell you what. Sit up with your back straight like this. Now half close your eyes. And breathe in slowly through your nostrils. In and out. That's nice. It's something I learned while I was over in Asia. It helps to clear my mind. That and the bottle, like. What are you doing? Sitting next to a stolen burning car, taking life coaching lessons from a drunken psychopath! If only Kim could see you now. Not that she'd be interested after tonight's performance. You're going to feel like a first-class pillock tomorrow morning. You're going to wish you were dead. I think we better fuck off. I think it's the Rosas for us. Is that for us? I reckon. What's he doing? What are you doing? It's supposed to attract bats. It's like... Mott wings flapping around or something. Morning, sleeping beauty. Oh, God. That's the spirit. Are you buying breakfast today or what? What the hell am I doing here? There's some soap in a crisp bag over there if you want to get a wash it out. Escape yourself, silly! All right, mate. Morning, Jog. Bang! Make a right fucking mess, that. 
Be quick though. Fuck this. Let's go and have a laugh. Come on. sake! That daft herb was spying on you. He's not well. I think he needs to see a doctor. He's gonna need a fucking undertaker when I catch him. Just promise me you won't do anything. Look at him! Filthy peasant! Did you see the way she looked at me? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Let me clear it up for you. Yeah. Sure, why not? Go ahead. Well, let's recap, shall we? You've lost your job, which means you're going to lose your flat. You've lost your girlfriend, and I wouldn't be surprised if she's been fired because of you. You stole your boss's car and set fire to it. You're hanging around with Commander Pissy Pants over there, and they're clearly having some sort of breakdown as you're now talking to me, and I don't exist. <laughs> you don't exist, you're right. You're just thin hair with a stupid haircut and a massive nose. What the fuck are you even supposed to be anyway? You made me up! Why would an ear goblin be wearing a suit? Because you're a lazy minded dickhead! What the hell am I supposed to do? Whoa, relax, man. Don't blow a gasket. Oh, will you fuck off? You know what? You've got a real attitude sometimes. You need to start treating your friends with a bit more respect. <laughs> We're not friends. You think I'm a free ride or something? Tell you what. We used to be like this. And now we're fucking like this. Look. Just take my money, huh, and go. 
I don't need your charity. Who do you think you're talking to, eh, you smug bastards? Think you're the only one with a fucking problem, do you? I'll give you the fucking problem. <laughs> think you can throw your money at me like I'm some sort of tramp? Well, you can stick it up your fucking ass. I was about to find your girlfriend, eh? And show what a real man's like. Not some fucking knobhead like you who walks around talking to his imaginary fucking friend all day. Don't. Oh, you're worried. <laughs> Don't ever tell me what to do, big man. You think your life's hard, eh? You get a fucking headache and your world falls to bits. You haven't got a fucking clue. Come on, cry, baby. I can't take it anymore. I give up. Okay, then. How are you going to do it? Do what? Throw in your towel, kick your bucket. Damn and blast your dithering, man. Make a list. throw myself under. Exactly! Pills! Paul! Electricity! That's nine. There's only eight spaces. There's no electricity out here anyway. Uh, yellow, green, red or blue? Red! Number? Three! Ah, oh, fuck that. I'm not setting fire to myself. Which number was drowning? Four. Four, then! Something to stem your buoyancy. Bingo! Yes, that's it. That's the way, just the ticket. Now up you come, that's it. Over the bridge, perfect, perfect. Lovely, lovely. Happy now? Ecstatic.
in. Shut up! For God's sake, man! Can't you do anything properly? All you had to do was drown. It can't be that difficult! People manage to do it accidentally all the time! You! Myself. You did a few moments ago. Five minutes on that phone and you'll be back in the water! I can't hear you. Yes, you can! Just keep your mouth shut, all right? This is going to be hard enough. Hi, is uh, Kim there, please? Is that Kenneth? Yeah. You're breaking my daughter's heart, you know. Sorry. It's not me you should be apologising to. I'll see if she feels like speaking to you. Hold on a minute. I don't really think I have much to say to you. Then listen. Last night, because you stole someone's car, and because of that, I might not have a job to go back to today. I'm sorry. I think you made it very clear last night that you don't care about anyone but yourself. Of course, I do, Kim. I, I just. I think you need some help, Kenneth, and I just haven't got the time or the energy anymore. I, I love you. I'm hanging up. Wait. I have something in my brain. A cyst or a tumour or something. I miss my follow-up scan. I'm scared, Kim. I keep seeing this little green guy. And I know he doesn't exist, but... God, you're so weird. I don't know how to take you when you say these things anymore. It's getting late and I have to go and sort everything with Jeff, who's very pissed off okay, me. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Shit, I'm running out of money. Go to the doctors or something if you're worried. Okay. Okay, I will. I'll let you know what they say. Sister pregnant! Hold his legs. You dirty little bastard! You come anywhere near my sister again, and I swear down, I'll fucking gut you! Understand? Yeah, I got to someone come in. Shut up, you knobhead! I don't want to see you around these streets again. You get it? Yeah, come on, guys, let's get off. Are you all right? 
She's pregnant. Who is? Kim. Oh, fucking hell. She's pregnant. Well done! Another unwanted mouth to feed. Oh, God. She must be going out of her mind. Get your hopes up. Could be anyone's. Forget it. I'll tread carefully. Uh, why don't you put that thing in the bin? Why don't you stop flapping your lips? Gonna come back. Come back. Gonna. Hello? Is your mum there? We're not open, Kenneth. Look, I think you should just go home. Is she here? She doesn't want to speak to you. Is it true? Let me in. I'm sorry. I'll turn myself in as soon as possible, but right now I just want to be with you. Can you open up, sir? Look, out the back door. Take care of her, Kenneth. Thanks, Jeff. Congratulations. on suspicion of twocking and criminal damage. You're not obliged to say anything, but anything that you do say maybe help against you in a court of law. Do you understand what I've said? You can't. I'm going to be a father. Oh, best wishes, mate. 
Neiman Charlie, this is Delta Fox Drop Whiskey. Suspects have been apprehended. Get off us, he hasn't done anything wrong! Street, advised, pick up, over. Get off me! Right then, lads. Just in case you knock me spark out. I'm allergic to penicillin. No more lies. I lost my job. Me too, I think. Why'd you lose your job? I just stopped going in. Oh. Sorry, I just really hated it. What are you going to do? Come down here. You look very pretty. What's going to happen? Are you going to go to prison? I don't know. Do you think it's a boy or a girl? I don't know. How ill are you? I don't know. What do you want? I don't know. I sort of wish we could just erase all the bad stuff. You know, like, we were two little fish. We'd keep forgetting everything every few seconds because we would have tiny brains, but wouldn't matter because we'd be happy just swimming around and nibbling each other's fins every once in a while. I meant a boy or a girl. Oh. We'd better go. Right. Poor Trevor. 
don't think he could survive in my pocket much longer. Now, is that it? What am I supposed to do? You can't come with us. You can't stop me, you ridiculous fool! I'll still be there, Kenneth, in your brain, logging every one of your pathetic failures. You won't get rid of me that easily. I'll pop your head like a fucking balloon! Just give it up, yeah? That is going to stop, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I know. Come on. Give me a hand, then. I wish I didn't love you so much, you nutter. <laughs> <laughs> 